Coming up in this video, I've been talking about it in a few recent videos that are filmed around Sailor Jerry. This is Old Jay Spiced. Now this was quite an important run for me a few years ago. So in this video, I'm gonna deep dive and I'm gonna tell you all about it. We're gonna do a quick review and tasting as well. So Old Jay Spiced. What is the story behind it? Well, the marketing spiel is actually quite funny. Um, Admiral Edward Vernon, he's the, the Navy dude that put a stop to kind of the daily tot uh, back in 1740, I think it was. Um, he suggested basically all the sailors were getting a bit too drunk on, on the rum rations. So he was the Admiral that enforced uh, the lower ABV drink on and suggested uh, mixing their rum that they had uh, with lime and sugar. Now, the, the marketing spiel is that this uh, old Jay was created in kind, of, in kind of homage to him, except we kind of know better. The clue is in the title. It is called Old Jay for a reason. If you've watched my recent Sailor Jerry uh, videos, you will know that I've mentioned this a few times. This was the rum that was created back in 2002 to try and replicate that very famous uh, pre-2009 recipe of Sailor Jerry spiced rum. When they committed commercial suicide, when they changed the recipe in 2010, this was the rum that was kind of released in 2012 ish give or take I had to try and jump on the back of the bandwagon because everyone was calling for Sailor Jerry's original recipe and they were just having none of it they got they turned posh In my opinion uh, this kind of fell down in two main areas firstly there was a huge time difference time gap in between Sailor Jerry changing in recipe in early 2010 and this actually getting launched in those two years two and a half years probably three or four years be before even pe pe a lot of people were aware of this people had moved on they'd moved away from kind of the spice drum category there were other things uh, floating about we had the vodka uh, the flavored vodka renaissance we had flavored ciders rtds you name it people had just moved on from that sort of spice drum craze so this never really took off but the other big factor for me was that Sailor Jerry was actually a 40% I did look at this I wasn't sure um, but it was kind of there but Sailor Jerry even the original recipe was a 40% spiced rum this isn't this was released at 35% and legally but in the UK for it to be even classified as a rum or a spiced rum it has to be a bare minimum of 37.5% ABV so this isn't technically a spiced rum and they've they've done that on the label because it's just literally called uh, i'll spin it around there it's just literally called old j spiced it's technically a spirit based drink so at 35 percent abv you know it's still uh, it's still a pretty strong drink it's a lot stronger than your kind of 20 percent malibus and things like that so it's kind of up there but it just hasn't quite got that sort of alcoholic kick that you'd kind of look for your kind of spiced rums that you're drinking however i have to say the flavor uh, when i first tried it i still had um, I, I, as I mentioned, I did stock up on the old uh, recipe salad jerry when I found it. I still had a little bit. And when this was released, the flavour was virtually bang on. I couldn't tell the difference, only in that slight sort of burn, uh, the alcohol burn, because the Sailor Jerry was a lot stronger uh, that you got on the aftertaste. So what is Old Jay Spiced? Well, it is a rum-based drink. We've got Trinidadian and we've got Barbados uh, rums in there as the main base. And then we it's flavoured up essentially with kind of uh, traditional spices, sweet vanilla and Persian lime. And that was what the original Sailor Jerry was famous for. It was kind of that lime and vanilla spiced rum. Now in the early years, you did struggle to get hold of this, 2012, 13, 14. The only place you could really get it um, was direct from them. And even then they were kind of looking to sell a case of six or ship a case of six to you so as i say it didn't really take off they didn't have because it wasn't um a grant and son william grant and sons that owned sailor jerry that had that massive kind of budget behind them these guys um real signature brands parent company lwc didn't really have that massive budget to get it out there so it really kind of labored it didn't hit supermarkets it just kind of failed to pick on that momentum that sailor jerry had seven years on uh, 2019 it is more widely available now 
I, I haven't really seen it in supermarkets. I don't, I'm not sure about Asda uh, and places like that in the UK, but you can quite easily get it online now. Uh, if you're in the trade, uh, book a cash and carry, do it. Most wholesalers do it. Yeah, LWCs, obviously, uh, Matthew Clark's people like that. You should all get that from behind that. And there is more in the range. They've got the silver, they've got the uh, the dark, and uh, they've got um, the cherry and uh, the tiki fire. That's what I use on my hen parties as well. That's the 75.5% spiced rum. But if you're looking to buy it, um, Amazon is another one as well if you're not in the trade. But if you're looking to buy it, you should be paying roughly... Uh, about 18 to 22 pounds, which in my opinion is actually quite expensive for what is essentially a spirit based drink 35%. There are a lot cheaper spiced rums, uh, 37.5, 40, 42% spiced rums. There are a lot cheaper ones on the market now. Now, I haven't actually had a bottle of this. This is uh, sort of September 2019. I haven't had a bottle of this. Uh, most of this year so it's a good at least a good sort of six months or so um since i last sort of tasted it so i haven't opened the bottle yet we're just going to crack it there we go remind us what it smells like i have to say on the nose it is that guilty pleasure that we all used to love from sailor jerry you kind of got, it reminds me of vanilla ice cream in there. You get the citrus from the lime. Get an abundance of toffee and probably for me a little bit of sort of um, brown sugar. But that's only because I've been using a lot of brown sugar recently in kind of old fashions and that. That's kind of the flavour I've got in my head. It's just a lovely kind of sweetish, not sweet as in um, liqueur, a low ABV liqueur, but kind of sweet um spiced rum in a sense so let's go ahead and taste it let's pop a little bit in our tasting glass and a wedge uh, a wedge a cube of ice give it a little chill smell wise exactly the same big bold vanilla notes in the glass lime is opening out right what does it taste like what does it remind us of First thing to note, and when you drink it neat, there is absolutely no burn on there at all. It's super smooth as it goes down. Again, that'll be uh, mainly due to it, the lower ABV, the 35%. So no kind of alcohol burn there at all. So much more of a pleasure to drink than Sailor Jerry, the new Sailor Jerry. They kind of got that ethanol burn, the alcohol burn that you get from Sailor Jerry. It's not pleasant at all. This is absolutely lovely. The two things that I really, that sort of really, really jump out at me, that kind of takes me back, vanilla ice cream, that's what I'm tasting. Toffee popcorn as well, that's that's the sort of two flavours I get. But then on the after aftertaste, that's when the spices start to do their work. I've got a little, little hint of pepper uh, at the end there. We've got all the kind of, I can get a little bit of clove, a lot of cinnamon in there. Maybe just a very, very slight hint of uh, kind of like star anise, uh, something like that. As I say, that is an absolute pleasure to drink neat. I've just done the tasting. Uh, back in the day, Sailor Jerry, um, the big, big out and out two serves with these two bad boys here. It was all about Sailor Jerry and Coke, all about Sailor, and Je Sailor Jerry and ginger beer. Old J is actually no different whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through a rundown of what my sort of favourites were on there. So for me, out and out favourite was Coke. Uh, again, I use Coke Zero. I just think that just works exceptionally well together. It's kind of the vanilla, the lime. It's like, it's a vanilla Cuba Libra. It's just absolutely superb. So that was my out and out favourite uh, with Old J Spice there. Couple of others, uh, ginger beer. I actually, have I got a can? Yeah, I've got a can here. I actually preferred um, the Fever Tree ginger beer uh, over the old Jamaica with this. This was kind of more of the ginger beer that we had back in the day, back in sort of 2007, 2008. We didn't really have uh, the kind of fieriness from Fever Tree ginger beer then. But I actually think uh, that just adds a bit more. The sort of sweetness of that kind of makes the drink too sweet with Old Jamaica. So I'm going Fever Tree uh, with that. That's my second favourite. Guilty Pleasures, uh, Mango and the Passion Fruit Rubicon. Absolutely lovely. They just work to treat. Um, but 
that was really interesting for me as well. This was, uh, that's Fever Tree Spiced Ginger Ale. I haven't actually tried that with uh, ginger ale before, but the spiced orange ginger ale worked very, very well. And then um, it was kind of, uh, I do normally love this, but actually I, I wasn't a huge, I, th I think that just made the finished drink too sweet. Uh, this is Schweppes uh, Dark Spirit, or Muscovado Dark Spirit Mixer. So while that was lovely, um, you know, I think it was possibly a little bit too sweet for a lot of people. So the last one I'm actually going to recommend um, was, is Ting. I think the sweetness of that, the sharpness of Ting just balances out very, very well. So they are my kind of top four go-tos for Old J Spiced. Um, but let's not, let's not beat around the bush a bit. Coke, out and out, you know. That is going to be the big, big seller all day long. Old J Spiced and Coke.